Hello friends, welcome to my channel Hira Takis. In this video, let me explain how to send OTP text from email using .NET Core Baby APA. For doing this implementation, I am already have one created .NET Core Baby API application. It's developed in uh, .NET 7. Okay. okay, before starting this implementation, let me provide some background about this application. So this application is created for implementing complete authentication scenarios such as login, or registration, OTP validation and role based authentication. For that I have created the separate video okay. The video link also in the description you can watch it. And this send OTP mails comes under the registration area okay. So part of the registration we have to send OTP text to the user email. After the OTP validation only the registration process is completed okay. So let's start the implementation. So the package point of view we are using two packages okay. Only MIME kit and another one is the mail kit. Okay, both the packages are already installed. So now let me go to the code. For sending the email, first of all, we need a from email and credentials and also the host and port number. These are the basic information. So that we can hard code in our app settings area. Okay. So in our app setting side, we have this connection string. So after that, let me create one more new section. And we can provide the name is email settings. Here we can include the properties. Okay. So the first thing is from email. Here you have to provide your own email. Okay. I just to providing to start gmail.com and then password. I just to providing some dummy value. Okay. And the next thing is host. We can use the SMTP service. Okay. And then display name. We can provide our channel name. So let me save this. And the final one is port. Okay. So the next thing is uh, we have to access this email settings in our application so we can create the respective classes okay so we have a model section okay let me create one more new class file and we can provide the name is email settings so similarly we can include the other fields also okay Post then display name and the final one is port. Okay, our model class is ready and we can create one more model class. So if you are sending mail, we need a three important information. One is to email and then subject and the final one is email body. Okay, if any attachment is there, that also we can include and if any CC mails is there, we can include. But primarily, we need this body, subject, and two email. Okay. So let me create one more new class. We can provide the name is mail request. So here also the first one is email. And then subject. And the final one is email body so let me save this one okay the model classes are ready so the next thing is we can create the service for this email okay so first time creating one interface and we can provide the name is a email service and adding the function send email it's a global function okay so in this application we can reuse in the different areas and the input type is uh, mail request so similarly we can create the implementation class so in this container side I'm creating a new class that is email service 
So now let me implement the interface. I email service here. So just implementing this function. Okay. Okay, this is fine. And the next thing is uh, we have to access this email setting information from our email service side. For doing that, let me configure this email settings in our program.cs file. So already we have registered some of the interfaces. So the same way we can register our email service also in which needed. I email services it's implementing this email services okay and before that configuring this email settings So here we need to provide the name so that so section name is nothing but this email settings okay so now we are good to go so next in our uh, email service side let me create one constructor also declaring one variable private read only it's not for this email services it's for the email settings and here we can inject using the i i options okay and then we can assign values to our declared variable Okay, mostly we are getting the suggestions from the intelligence side. Okay, just saved. So next we can start the implementation. I removed this exception and declaring one variable where email equal to new my messages. Okay. So it's coming from this packages mime kit okay and then we can add sender so sender value is mailbox address we need to provide the exact sender email okay so that we can get it from this email settings email okay we have done the first step and the next thing is uh, to email so the steps are same but the thing is we can add a multiple email address also so in our scenario i am going to include the single email only okay so again the steps are same no mailbox address dot parse so now we can get that two email from this email request okay it's not an email request it is the mail request okay and the next thing is subject okay and the next thing is body so so including this body let me declare one variable okay that is the body builder So in this builder, we can add attachment, text body, HTML body. Okay, so I am going to include the HTML body, email body. Okay, so next in our object side, let me include this body. Okay.
Okay, now we successfully included the sender email, two email, subject, and also the body. And the next thing is we have to work for the SMTP side. Okay. Again, let me create one variable. And then we can connect the SMTP service using this connect function. We have to pass the parameter, okay? So the first one is host. That we can get it from the email settings. Host, then port number. And additionally, we have to include secure socket options that is start TLS okay so next we can authenticate this one by using the credentials so the first one is our sender email again we can get it from the email settings only and then password okay that also done so finally, we have to send the email, okay? We need to pass this email. Finally, we can disconnect our SMTP connection, okay? So the email service implementation is done. So here after uh, we can use this email service globally in our complete application okay so next we can move on the user services there only we have this function okay so the first thing is we have to inject this email service here okay I email services anyway we got the intelligence suggestions we can follow the same okay so next in the send OTP section. So we have uh, three parameters. One is user email. That is nothing but our true email. Okay. And then this uh, OTP text. Finally, the username. So these are all the informations we are getting. So this OTP text also, we are, it's a kind of random number. It's a six digit number. Uh, if, so we just initiated one random class and then uh, generating this number we specified D6 that means it will uh, return the six digit numbers only okay so that value only we are using but the application point of view once we are generated the OTP we are storing in the database also okay that is then part of the registration so next in our send OTP mail section uh, let me declare one variable So the first thing is email that you can get it from the parameter itself user email and then subject we can provide some hard code value okay thanks for registering okay so the next thing is body for generate the body, let me create one more new function. It's having two functions, two parameters, okay? One is the name and another one is the OTP text. From here, for this email body we can say generate email body the parameters one is name and another one is the OTP text so here we can prepare our HTML content we can provide this name thanks for registering Please send her the OTP text and complete the registration. 
and this one also we can include in one of the HTML tag okay So if needed, uh, we can include some of the additional styles also, okay. For my side, I'm just adding with 100%. And background color. Okay, the email body also done. So finally, they can send the email right so email service that send the email we need to pass this mail request on like that's it okay so now let me run this application and we can verify okay our AP is in running mode so here we can use this registration okay use the registration so here the first one is uh, username and we can provide one name let me provide Rajkumar and then phone number provided some additional numbers for this OTP text actually we can send to the uh, mobile messages and also the WhatsApp messages so maybe uh, that I will create the separate video okay for the string we can keep the same let me execute this one okay we got a success response so let me check in my email see thanks for registering OTP hi Raj Kumar thanks for registering please enter the OTP text and complete the registration and this is your OTP text okay and see the styles also applied the with this hundred percentage and the background color is gray that also applied so similarly if you want to include some custom uh, styles also so that you can include while preparing this email body okay so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching